live from the Crowd Theater, it's Sam Deutsch. Welcome to the show with Sam Deutsch. I'm Sam Deutsch, and this is the show. It's a beautiful day in Chicago here in November, November 2015. That means we're about one year away from the 2016 presidential election. Now, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know much about politics. This isn't really a political show. But every other show out there covers the election almost every single night, the candidates who are running. There's a lot of humor there. There's a lot of fun stories there. So I feel like we really need to get in on it. But here's the thing. Every show has a bias, and it's clear. Everyone's endorsing a candidate. They just don't say it out loud. On this show, we don't do that bullshit. We're going to endorse a candidate, and we're going to stand behind him the whole way. But like I said, I don't really know anything about the election. I don't know anything about the candidates. I don't know who I want to endorse. I think there's really only one fair way to do it, and that's by pure chance. So I asked my sidekick, Jose, to put all the candidates, everybody running, even the ones we haven't heard of, all the names in a hat. He's going to bring it out here. I'm going to pick one out. And for the rest of the run of the show and the rest of the election, that's who we're going to endorse full-fledged on this show. So let's bring Jose out, everybody. All right. You were wearing it on your head. All right. I was wearing it. All right. I have not seen in there, right? No, you have not even seen it. I don't even know the names that are in there. Well, I mean, know. I know the names because they're the president. I don't, names. yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm just going to do this at full random, and then we have to stand behind it, whoever it is. Whoever it is. Whoever it is. Even if it's Donald Trump, Jose. Even if they drop out. Even if they drop out, even we're going to... Even if Donald Trump deports we, you. Even if Donald Trump deports you, we are 100% behind him. All right, ready? Drum roll, thank you. Carly Farina, 2016. She's a businesswoman from Virginia, and she's a Republican. Carly Fiorina, I don't even know Fiorina. if I'm saying it right. Fiorina, she is who the show will stand behind for the rest of the presidential election. We really hope she gets elected. We're in her corner. Carly, we're in your corner. Come visit us. Come, come visit. Oh, if we can get her on the show, Carly, you're always welcome to be on the show. I don't know much about you, but if you want to be on the show, you're 100% invited. We will have you on, and we want to help. Send shit to us, everything, all right? Thank you. Vote for Carly in 2016. We got a great show today. Filmmakers Sam Powell and Drake Lee are here. Uh, music from the Abercadabra later. I hope you guys stick around. I hope you guys like it. Thank you. Walk out. I'm going to walk. My producer says I should walk out. Welcome back to the show with Sam Deutsch. We're about to have a guest in one second, but... What do you what do you do? You, you got something there? Where, where'd you get that? It's a donut cup. It's a donut cup. I invented it. You invented the donut cup. You want one? No, I don't. That's disgusting. How do you think it's going so far? I think it's going pretty great. I'm gonna start a Kickstarter. You're gonna start a Kickstarter for donuts. Work. Okay, donut that's cup. that's all right. Yeah. Enough of that. All right, let's bring out our first guest. He's a very talented filmmaker. He's got a short documentary coming out about graffiti. His name is Sam Powell. Let's bring him out, everybody. What's How up, you doing? How what's you doing? up, what's up? Welcome to the show. Hello, yeah, thanks for having me. First things first, I just want to ask you how you feel about Carly Fiorina. Oh the man, Republican you know, me and Carly go Virginia. way back. Um, I've actually been a Carly supporter since like her early political career, right? When she was like a political, like lobbyist. Like, oh four, man. You know, I really just behind the fury of Furia and Ooh, um, I love the name Carly. Um, so yeah, Team Carly all the way, guys. And I just, guys just really did real quick good... for the cameras, make sure they know that we didn't put you up to saying that. You actually... Oh, no, was... I'm not endorsed by the show or anything like that. I just love the woman that is Carly. What, what, how do you say her last name? Fior Fioroni? Fior Fiorina. Fiorina. Just... I think, mm. I think she's like... Just say that like twice. Carly Fiorina. Carly Fiorina. I mean, I found and you're gonna name yeah. Sneed. Sneed. So you can okay. call her That's Carly interesting. Sneed if you want to. So... You've got this documentary. You've been working on it. I've seen you working on it. Yeah. It's about graffiti artists in Chicago. You followed them around. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it's a documentary short film called Put on the Line. Um, it's like a really cool, um, intense piece that I made. I met these graffiti artists, vandal guys, that like write in the tunnels of the CTA, and like they just throw their name up. And so I approached them, and I was like, hey, I need to make this documentary for this class, um, will you guys be my subjects? And they were totally down. And um, I, after that, it just kind of took off and like kind of picked up its own momentum. Like I was filming some really cool stuff, you know, up late at night, just like filming them tagging, trespassing. And it was like a really cool experience for me to just be around all that like cool, crazy stuff and to capture it and to, you know, put my own style to it. So I'm really excited to premiere my doc. 
Definitely. Were you ever afraid yeah. that you'd get arrested or something like that? Uh, yeah, actually a couple times um, when we were just running around in the tunnels and the CTA. But I mean, I was confident because like they knew what they were doing. Like these guys have been doing this stuff for like since they were ki little kids. And so like they, I, whenever I was nervous, they would just reassure me and be like, dude, you're going to be okay. Just, you're going to be okay. Just, just book it. Just, these like, criminal graffiti artists, but they're very reassuring. Dude, they've been, yeah, <laughs> they've been in their shit. And it's okay, man. It's yeah, going to be okay. They, they basically <laughs> gave me a good pat on the back and tell me, you know, just suck it up and we'll be good. Have you ever done any graffiti, Jose? Uh, no. No. Nope. Okay. Have Just you, on paper. Yeah, you filmed the graffiti. Have you ever actually done any graffiti? Um, yeah, I'm, I maybe, I mean, I've, you know, might throw up a little stuff around town that you might see. Mm -hmm. um, I did practice a little bit, like, in my own room, like, I just, because I had to buy cans for these guys. Um, and you so had to I, buy them their Yeah, cans yeah, that's to get actually in. funny, yeah, so I, I, like, the city of Chicago actually banned all sales of um, spray paint, so you really? have to go to the suburbs to get them. So I would take this bus, uh, this bus to Lincolnwood Town Center, like an hour-long bus, just to get these guys spray paint cans. And I would just have a bunch of cans rattling around in my backpack. And so one thing led to another, and I just, you know, threw some stuff up just here and there. Nothing serious, um, but, you know, yeah. I remember... A couple names, yeah. There was a lot of graffiti in my middle school. A lot of kids got in trouble for graffiti, but the biggest act of vandalism at my middle school was a kid took a dookie in a urinal. Ooh. Yeah. And he got away with it? No, um, they did not get away with it. They had to clean every locker in the school. Ah, uh, every locker? Yeah. I think in they had to clean the a bathroom urinal. too, but you I don't know. know. That's pretty ambitious. It was, I mean. You could even make a documentary on that itself. You Just, could do that. You could definitely. How does he that. get up there? Like, how did he. Hey, what do you think you of know? olives? Olives? Yeah. Do you like olives? The f not a fruit. Vegetable? Do you know? Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a. Well, what are grapes? Grapes or berries? So are, are berries fruits? Strawberries, blueberries, those are fruits. Is the olive sweet or sour? I've never eaten an olive in my life. Is that why you brought them up? I'm always wondering, like, yeah. who eats olives? People eat olives people and eat olives and, and like, things like that. And I like pasta. Black olives are gross, but like the green ones, yeah. Okay. With the little red eyeball, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. They do have those little red eyeballs in there. That's just... I'd definitely be down to try one in the martini or something. If I, like I that. wish I had some olives right I know. That'd yeah. be good actually that'd actually be good. Do you wish you had olives? I don't Well then I could be like then I can there's actually this isn't going anywhere with the olives. Yeah, but yeah, it... but like the this smell of olives is pretty time. good. Yeah. Um so what have you what do you got in the future planned after this documentary? Um I'm actually working on a lot of things right now. A couple music videos and like um, short narrative docs. This big music video I'm working on for Abracadabra, musical guest later tonight. Um, the Ever our musical guest, Abracadabra. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're working on I'm, I'm going to be an editor for the next music video oh, called you're editing it. Bracelet. Yeah, it's going to be sweet. We're actually um, starting to raise money Who's um, we? for Who our else Kickstarter. Is on that? So uh, it's me, you know, Adam Abracadabra, and the director, Drake Lee. Super he's, talented. He's actually here. Let's bring him out. He's Let's here? Bring, yeah, he's here. Let's bring him out. Drake. How you doing, Drake? Nice to meet you. What's up, man? What's you don't up? have to act like What's he up? wasn't here. We all oh, knew okay, he was okay, here. Okay, I yeah. mentioned yeah. him in the monologue. I knew he was here, guys. <laughs> we met before, so that was fake as hell. My bad. That was that was super fake. We try to be honest on the show. We try not to fake things like that. Real quick, I need to ask everybody, what do you think about Carly Fiorina for president? My mom has her Pilates video. Can, is there a way we can get our hands she on did, that? She did a Pilates video, like, in 96, and... I th yeah, if you could bring boy. that to us, we would what? really love to have it, yeah, because yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, that's So really tell me cute. about this music video you're shooting for our music guest, Abracadabra. Yeah, uh, it's really cool. Basically, it's going to start out um, with this girl, and she's in, like, an equipment closet of, like, this, like, rundown kind of, like, performance space. Uh, kind of like this, actually. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, and anyway, she's going to be... <laughs> she's gonna be like, well, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> well, you know. I okay, mean, we know. <laughs> we know. So anyway, she's going to be getting up in her, she, it's a wedding dress, and she's like 17, and she's like six months pregnant, and she doesn't have any bridesmaids, or like her mom isn't there to help her get ready for a wedding, it's just her, and this like really dimly lit, again, like it's like a closet yeah. basically, and she comes out, and all of the guests are there, and they're all like kind of pissed off to be there, and the groom comes out, and the guests kind of like talk to each other, they're kind of like, you know, just whispering, whispering, because like they know who the groom is. And over the course of the music video, basically it's just gonna be about revealing who this young, vulnerable girl 
is getting married off to, and it's going to be kind Sounds of... Sounds really cool. Yeah. And you got a Kickstarter for it? How much are you trying to raise? We got a Kickstarter. We're trying to raise $2,300. $2,300. And just real quick, if you want to say, what's it called for the yeah, Kickstarter? Yeah, uh, if you go on Kickstarter, it's just a Bracelet Music Video is the project name, and then Drake Lee is the director. And All right. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks, you guys, for coming on the show. It was Thank really you. fun talking about <laughs> olives, talking about music videos, uh, doing a little deception of the audience, trying to... Make them think we didn't know you're here. We all knew you're here. You came early. Yeah, um, we're not acting majors, you know. Yeah, that's. So, I mean, that's clear. Yeah. Uh, wow. Thanks. Man. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks, guys, for coming on. Uh, it was really nice talking to you. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thank you for having thanks. us. Thanks, Jose. Thanks, Jonah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jonas. Shout out to Carly. Hey, yeah. Go, Carly. Carly, 2016, 2016. and forever. Beyond. She's got it in the bag. Jose, it's pretty clear a lot of our show is about the city of Chicago. It's about love for Chicago, the local, all of it. How long have you lived here? Uh, 22 years. 22 years, your whole life. And even you, who's been here your whole life, you can't keep track of everything that's going on in the city. There's so much to do. That's true. And we really want to connect people with the city and let them know what's going on. So to do that, we hired our city correspondent, Francisco Espinoza. He's going to come out here. He's going to tell us some cool things about the city and what to do. So let's bring him out. Francisco Espinoza, everybody. Hey, Franny. How you doing? Hey, what's up? You look a little tired. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm fine. Which is up really late last night. Oh, were you... Really? Were you... I mean, what were you doing? Were you researching for this show? Were you... Were no. you at a club or a theater no. or something? <laughs> no, no, no. No, actually, I just got Netflix. You know Netflix? You know Netflix? Yeah, I, I know Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got the account. I'm watching this show called The West Wing. Guys, The West Wing. Actually, I've already seen the first three seasons. It's amazing. I, is that called bulge watching? No, it's, watch it it's called binge watching. But I'm pretty. We're kind of in the middle of something. Can we talk about this later? Oh, <laughs> look, yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let's look. You you gave me some notes here. You said you're going to talk about the monument tours in Chicago. We're going to look at some Chicago landmarks. Uh, come, can you tell me a little about those tour? Is that what that says? Yeah, that's that's what it says here, Franny. You wrote this. Can you tell me anything about it? <laughs> Yeah, well, there are a lot of monuments made in honor of historical figures. Yeah? Yeah, like there's a lot of them like the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial. Those are both in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, yeah, I know they're in D.C., which is where the West Wing takes place. Uh, uh, the West Wing? Yeah, yeah, the West Wing, you know. In the West Wing, you know, instead of Barack Obama being the president, the, chief, the commander-in-chief is Jeb Bartlett. It's a brilliant academic from New Hampshire that he won the election, but he lost the popular vote. Franny, because Franny, can we stick with Chicago here? The show's about Chicago. You're supposed to come on here and talk about Chicago stuff. Yeah, sorry. Okay. It's, it's just a show. It's so good. Like, it's so good. I'm sure it is, but here. So look, good. Your next thing it says you're, you're going to talk about a, a new nightclub that opened up on the north side. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to that one. You actually went? I went to that one. Okay, I mean, good. Can you tell us something? I mean, I don't remember the name of it. But it looks a whole lot like the club that the president's daughter gets abducted by. The music and the wait, slides. Wait, it's wait, so The president's daughter get, got abducted? Yes. In the end of season four. <laughs> the president's daughter gets abducted by, by, by terrorists. And then 
and then the president has resigned. And then John Goodman. John Goodman, are you talking about the West Wing again? Yeah. Franny. You asked about that. I'm, I did not ask, ask about it. I did not ask about it. I'm, Franny, I'm starting to think that you watched so much TV this week that you didn't do your job. That's offensive. What? It's offensive that you think that I would just ignore my dues just so I can watch some TV show. I thought you had more respect for me than that. Well, I'm sorry, I have respect for you, but it really just seems like you weren't prepared. How dare you? I'm sorry, Franny, I'm sorry. Okay, but here, let's talk about this last thing. It's uh, the art gala that was in town this week in Grant Park. There were signs all over the city for it. Tell us a little bit about that. How was that? Yikes. Um, I didn't go to that one. No, 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 I was in the middle of the two-parter where Josh and Toby, they get stuck in Indiana. And Josh and Toby? Yeah, they're the aides of the president. Try to keep up. So yeah, they're stuck in Indiana, and they get stuck. But I just had to find out how it was going to end. I oh had my to. God. I had to. I had to. I mean, it's okay, though. They got back to D.C., no problem. It's fine. City correspondent Francisco Espinoza, everybody. Get out of here. Stay tuned for music from Abracadabra. Thank you. Performing the song Coral Lever, Abracadabra. As far as I can see, nobody has the time, oh no. It's just a coral that's been touched below. As if the gods had made a false below. Oh, oh. It's in between the grown shadow of the limestone. Water around me in my eyes and throat I am the oil of the ocean Shun, shun It's all I want to go into the sea All night coral going back from me All my coral going back from me My bed was shaking I can't get to sleep My bed was shaking I can't get to sleep My bed was shaking I can't get to sleep
to sleep. Abracadabra! Where can we get the song? Uh, you can get it on my band camp, which is abracadabraband.bandcamp.com. Gotta remember the band in the first part or else you'll get some other guy. Got it. Thanks to Abracadabra, thanks to Sam Powell, thanks to Drake Lee. Good night, everybody.